Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I am back with one of the common question which we are raising from past few days. That is how many columns we need to consider for 30 by 40 site and what should be the depth of excavation, what is the reinforcement details we need to provide. Yes, let's go into the concept one by one. The first and foremost thing to be considered is leveling and ground preparation. Once the excavation is done, please note the excavation depth, minimum depth of excavation should be 5 feet from the natural ground level or until the hard strata or hard rock is found. And once it is excavated till that level, it has to be leveled properly and the soling should be applied. That is the first course of the foundation. Minimum thickness of the soling should be 150 mm and the desirable size of the aggregate should be 25 mm to up to 60 mm. Above the soling, we will apply 3 inch thickness of PCC. PCC is made by mixing one proportion of cement to four proportion of sand and eight proportion of gravels or jelly which acts as a base course for the main concrete or footing concrete and avoids the seepage of moisture from the footing concrete and also guys you can comment any observations you have in this video or any doubts you have and i can answer you in the next question video or make a separate video for it Once the PCC is compacted and the ground is leveled properly. The next step is marking the center line of the column in the footing. This has to be carefully done as per the structural drawing or the, uh, or the structural consultant. Little bit misplacement of the columns will lead to major structural problems and it may cause the uh, serious issue in the structural stability of the building. Between this, let me take some time to explain your common question which I have received is how many columns we require for a 30 by 40 site. In a 30 by 40 site, you can assume around 10 to 12 columns based on the structural framing. It may increase uh, if the structure is irregular and it, we can reduce the number of columns also. It is not a hard and fast rule. We need to go for this particular number of columns itself. In some of the cases, number of columns may increase due to some additional uh, irregularities in the structure which was a client requirement also. In some cases, we can reduce the number of columns also based on um, by increasing the size of the columns or capacities of the columns. Everything depends on your structural engineer ultimately. Let me explain you the reinforcement for the footing mat as you can see in the figure. The footing mat is almost 1 meter by 1 meter size. The below provided uh, tiles is for cover as I explained. Uh, I advise you to go for a reinforcement of 8 mm or 10 mm max, not more than that. And spacing of around 6 inches or 8 inches maximum. And uh, the reinforcements, lateral reinforcement in both direction I prefer you to go for. Uh, two, uh, 200 mm thickness that is more than sufficient let me explain you what should be steel reinforcement for any buildings with residential buildings with ground or ground plus one floor i advise everyone to not go for a higher grade means higher reinforcements without consulting your structure which saves major part of your construction amount as you can see here, the steel used here is SKTMT grade steel, means uh, SKTMT brand steel with 550 grade. The grade in indicates the strength of the steel reinforcements and it should be TMT bars always. As I have shown in the figure, this is bit corroded, means uh, it should not be like this. It should be bright and it should be coating such that uh, minimum uh, corrosion should be happened. Here as you can see in the video, we have considered a size of footing of 1 meter by 1 meter size that everything depends on the loads 
that coming on the footing. Uh, sometimes if you are designing your homes for a higher load you need to consider for higher size of the footing. That everything depends on your structure engineer how much he has for how much load he has designed. And you can see the column also. Here the size of the column is around 9 inch by 9 inch column. Before starting concreting, uh, you make sure so that you have got sufficient cover below that uh, footing mat such that uh, your steel should not be ex uh, directly touching the ground such that that may create corrosion of your steel reinforcement. As you can see here, you can go for a footing thickness of around one and a half feet or even if you go for one feet, that doesn't create any problem for your structure. Make sure so that the concrete which you are using is workable. That means which can flow easily whenever you pour on that uh, structure. And one more important thing you need to consider is the compaction is done properly. If possible, you can use the vibrator also for compaction. And please also please make a note of that, so that invert level of all the footings should be the same and thickness may vary based on their locations and their load taking capacities, how the structural design has configured. And I advise you people to go for a structural consultant before deciding the steel or thickness of the concrete uh, which may help you saving major cost of your construction. And you can also observe here you can avoid the side shattering for footing. I, uh, I advise as a structure professional structure engineer to not go for a uh, shattering box or for sh side shattering so that whatever the stones you are using or bricks that creates irregularities in the sides which will increase the st uh, structural rigidity of the footing uh, and helps in bonding with the local soil or the ground properly. There are certain papers which also explains that this type of uh, irregularities or bonds will help in to resist the earthquake. Thank you guys for watching out our videos. I request you to subscribe to our channel and share with your friends. And also comment below which video you expect for uh, next. Thank you, thank you everyone.